Hey everyone, I'm in Korogo in the very northern part of Cote d'Ivoire in West Africa. And today we're going on a local food tour. We'll be cooking some home cooked food and then we'll be eating some street food. Plus an amazing once in a lifetime acrobatic show. You're not gonna wanna miss any of it. It's coming up for you right now in this video. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. I'm in Cote d'Ivoire, West Africa, and we're on a journey to eat the best food throughout the country. We started with street food in Abidjan, ate palm nut soup from the source, saw some of the most remarkable traditional dances I've ever seen, and visited remote villages for unseen local food. She has a massive pot going. Why? <laughs> it's a whole sandbox with sand at the bottom, lighted on fire in the center. So it smokes, it cooks, it hisses all at the same time. Today we're in Korogo, home to the Senufo tribe. Their favorite meal, a bright green sauce, but fresh grilled meat is never far away. Oh, 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 wow. We'll also see a local dance that's guaranteed to have you at the edge of your seat. Okay, so cooking will be in here. All right. Oh, nice. Oh, wonderful. You come inside the compound and it kind of opens up into a courtyard. Really nice and peaceful back here. This is where we're going to be cooking. Oh, excellent. Oh, peanuts. Kitchen now. <laughs> so they're going to be preparing a local dish from northern Cote d'Ivoire, from this region. And it's going to include this type of leaf, which is similar to spinach, and then peanuts, which are pounded. And then we're going to see the whole process as they make it. Okay, so we'll also be eating some of these beans, a type of bean. So that main dish that we're going to eat with the leaves, those leaves actually come from, the, from a type of bean. It's the leaves grown from the, the beans. That's a very interesting ingredient. She adds in some kind of potassium water and powder, which she says from some kind of an ash potassium that goes in the water before the bean leaves go in. Oh yes, chilies go in. And look at these tomatoes, they're really beautiful tomatoes. They almost look like chilies. So she's just mashing down some onions, tomatoes, and peppers, and it's going to be for another dish, a locust bean soup. Oh, so she adds that paste to the boiling meat. Mm -hmm. 
That's the locust bean powder. Okay, that's gonna go into the soup. Over here to the meat stew. In goes some tomato paste. It's called sambas and uh, it's in seasoning. And then the, we're gonna have a ju the juice of this. Juice of this, okay. Yeah, then cool. the, the, of the of the of of this the fruit. Food that's inside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Once those leaves had been cooking for like 45 minutes and she hand blended them, adds in the peanuts and adds in rice flour to thicken it and then just keeps hand blending it into a, a smooth sauce. So this is back to the, the locust bean soup. Some dried fish goes in. Okay, everything is ready. We're ready to eat. All the food is ready and we're beginning. This is a local Senufo meal from the Senufo tribe. The colors, these are definitely some ingredients I haven't seen in some combinations, a lot of sauces. And so we're gonna start off first with the joro. So that goes with rice. And basically that's just straight up those bean leaves with peanuts. And then you eat that together with rice along with the, the meat stew. Oh, so you eat that together, okay. Okay, so we're going together? Yes. You kind of mix it up together? All right. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is so green tasting. Oh, delicious. So vibrant and very vegetal. Oh, okay. Vegetal and then you got the, the nuttiness of the peanuts. So now I'll try it with some of that. I think it's beef. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's tasty. That's tasty, yeah. It's like a, a really smooth, green, green vegetal paste with peanuts in it. Oh, I love it. Oh, and that's nutritious as well. Okay, so the next dish we're going to eat is those beans. And that specifically you eat along with the, the meat stew with onions, tomatoes in there, and there's chilies in there that they just melted down. And they just cooked it for so long in, in oil to brown it all the way. Oh, that looks, that smells delicious. Okay, and I got some of the, the chili in this bite as well. Mm -hmm. Oh. I got it. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's insanely tasty. And those beans, those beans are unbelievably creamy and sweet. Oh, merci. Oh, she added me some of that beef. Oh man, that's so good. They almost taste like, like black eyed peas or pigeon peas. That is, that is an amazing dish. And something that I, I mean, I've learned throughout this trip is that every main dish has a starch that it's eaten with. And like, for instance, like this dish, you wouldn't eat it with rice. You would eat it with these beans. Whereas this dish, you would eat with the rice. So every dish, every main dish, 
goes specifically with a certain starch for a reason. Oh man, those onions have been just caramelizing, have been browning in that oil for a, an hour. So they're just so sticky and sweet. Mm -hmm. All of the juices have come out of them, browned. <laughs> sweet, juicy, oily. So much flavor. So the next dish we're trying is the final dish. This is the locust bean soup with fish, with chilies, with onions in there as well. But mostly just all about the locust bean in there. All right, so this is the third main dish. Okay. That's pima. Oh yes, go with the pima. With some of that fish. In fact, I think this is fresh fish. I don't think it, this one is smoked this time. Okay, I'll go for that. Mm. <laughs> oh, the pima. Yes. Spicy. Mm. And this has a very unique taste. It's very, like, very earthy tasting. Like, like very almost woody mm -hmm. from those, those uh, locust beans. And a little bit of a fermenty taste to it. Mackerel fish, yes. Smoked fish, okay. Okay. Give me the drink for you. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is good too. Three different dishes, totally different flavors, totally different ingredients that have gone into them. And these are dishes that are representative of the Senufo tribe in northern Cote d'Ivoire. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is so good, that's so refreshing. This is the juice from the Weda fruit, which is that fruit that, um, it grows around here, and it's, it's called Weda fruit. Oh, it almost, it's, it's like a pulpy seed. Yeah, that juice is just incredible. It's like mango, but even a little more sour. Oh, that's, what a meal, what a juice. No, Man, that locust bean soup is unique. What a flavor. Oh, this green sauce is incredible. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, what a dish. What a combination. Just the uniqueness and variety and mm -hmm. like diversity. Merci beaucoup. Okay, merci. Merci. Oh, yes. Now I'm just loading up, refilling all oh, those beans with that onion. Mm. Just the sweetness of those onions and beans. What a combination. That was another outstanding meal in Cote d'Ivoire and such a unique meal. The ingredients were unlike, even the flavors were unlike any other meal that we've had so far. And what another just gracious, hospitable family for hosting us. But from here, we have more food to eat. We're gonna go for some grilled meat because Korogo is very well known for livestock, for raising animals, grazing, and of course, for grilled meat. So we're gonna go to one of the best places to eat grilled meat. And then after that, we have a special surprise. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes. Oh. Bonjour. Bonsoir. 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 Oh man, welcome to Grilled Meat Paradise, and it's locally called Shukuya, which they are Shukuya, Shukuya. It's a full butcher here. They have raw meat. They grill it up, all the different parts. I think it's mostly mutton, and then I think they might have beef as well. But, oh man, they have some massive logs burning fire. They're grilling, they're roasting. Oh, this smells unbelievable. Okay, here's the fresh meat. Okay, merci. Say mutton, mutton, mutton? Is it mutton, mutton? Thank you.
the boss explained to us, they cook it on a low fire. And it's kind of an indirect fire as well. The fire is off to one side. And then so that just kind of smokes the meat slowly, letting it absorb as much flavor as possible. So we're sitting down for the shukuya, yeah. and what they do is you choose the different parts of the meat that you want. They slice it up into bite-sized pieces, yeah. and then they, he takes a piece of paper, folds it into the piece of paper, and then they kind of put it back onto the grill for a little while, yeah. um, and that kind of like reheats and kind of like the oils come out onto the paper. Yeah. Then when it's ready to serve, they add on some of the kan kan kan, which is that uh, powder seasoning, yeah. plus some onions, chilies, and you're ready to go. So we got a mixed, a mixed platter here with yeah. some of the meat, with some yeah. of the liver, some of the lungs, intestines. Yeah, Maybe just go for that meat first. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so fresh. Yes. Oh, mm. Mm. and so smoky. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's extraordinary. The texture is good. The flavor is so natural. Yep. And you said that some around here is some of the best meat yes. in Cote d'Ivoire, right? Cote d'Ivoire, yeah. Oh man, yeah. that's so smoky and so flavorful. Yeah. Okay, just, I'm gonna go in for one of those lungs. Always be sure to dip it in the dip it in the the kan kan kan. Yeah. <laughs> And then go for it. And be sure to get some yeah, of those chilies and yeah, chilies scoop in also. with some of those onions and yeah. and the, the chili. Yeah. Oh. oh, the liver's awesome too. Mm -hmm. So crumbly, mm. soft, yeah. sweet. Mm. Oh, this is award winning meat. Yeah. The, uh, the onion and the chili. Oh, wow. I love the smokiness. Mm. That slow roast. Mm. Oh, that's tasty. And salty. <laughs> <laughs> and what's in the kan kan kan? So, each one of them tells you that they have, they have a secret way of making it. So, I've never been able to properly find out exactly what it's made out of. Okay. I've had some tell me that it's a mixture of cola. It's all grounded. Cola nut? Cola, cola nut, um, chilies. Um, I've heard a, lot, a, whole, a whole bunch of, uh, um, of mixtures. But okay. They're, each, each person says that he has his own secret, secret recipe for it. Mm. Oh, and then with the, with the onions, with the onion, with the chili. Oh, man, what a combination. That's mm -hmm. outstanding. This is. This is grilled meat paradise. Yes, yes it is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh wow. I think it's a kidney. Yeah. Always the kan kan kan. <laughs> Always the kan kan kan? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. That one is a little more organy tasting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. On to... Unbelievable meat. But we got to move on to the something that's going to be extremely unique um, and thrilling to see. That was world-class meat, and just the freshness, the quality, the the naturalness of that meat too. Because again, these parts of Cote d'Ivoire, they're they're like very well known for their grasslands for grazing, for livestock. We made it kind of on the outskirts of town. This is where the, the acrobatic, the performance will be. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Whoa, they're ready for us.
the rhythm of the music and the chanting and then the kids dancing, it's so emotional, just so, so powerful. The music to begin with is so therapeutic, so rhythmic, the chanting, it's, it's unbelievable. And uh, Mo was mentioning that this, the Black Panther was inspired by this is the original dance of Black Panther. This is so cool. How much energy and how much, like, that is unbelievable. fast yeah. oh yeah and I mean you can see that so many dances Whoa. Whoa. so many dances have been inspired by this is the original dance I love the music in the background Truly, truly impressive, unbelievable, remarkable. The athleticism and the, just the cultural impact, it's stunning. And I think they're getting progressively harder and harder with their stunts. Woo! It's thrilling. And they really know how to make the crowd Liven up the crowd. I think there's no doubt that in Cote d'Ivoire I've seen the best cultural dances and traditions I've ever seen. The dances are unbelievable. Wow! That was absolutely spectacular. And to just put things in perspective of how even more impressive it is, they're dancing in bare feet, they're barefoot. And there's like, this is a rocky ground that they're landing in. Their athleticism, their performance, and so many dances around the world have been inspired from this original West African dance right here in Korogo. It's influenced the world of dancing. It's such an honor to be here, and we should never forget where these dances originate. What a, just, that was, I'm blown away. And the chanting, it was so like, it's unlike anything you'll ever experience. It's just truly special. What a, what an experience. That brings us to the end of this day in Korogo. Uh, it's been an amazing day learning about the local food, eating meat, and then a spectacular performance to end. I want to say a big thank you to my friend Mo from Belle Cote d'Ivoire. I'll have his information in the description box below. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.